Good morning and welcome to Five Minutes on Faith. It is Tuesday, July 23rd of 2024, and it's great to be with you again today. I wanted to continue on. This is Nehemiah, uh, the Nehemiah Connection Part 5. The Lord just keeps rolling me forward on in this, and it is such a great discovery. I hope you guys will take time to get your Bibles out and read the book of Nehemiah. This is basically Nehemiah's diary of his experience when he went to lead the Jews to rebuild the wall and bring that city back into prosperity. So it's a great representation to us today in America because we are in such a travail here in our nation and we have a lot of rebuilding that needs to be done. But what we have to be careful about is making sure that we I bring forward leaders of high integrity who will fight for us and for righteousness. So I just want to point out a few things to you. Now, yesterday, we talked about the victory that prevailed when Nehemiah was able to get the, um, the workers that were re rebuilding the wall to build their confidence up and to say, we're not going to bow down to the enemies. So they took a trowel in one hand, a sword in the other, and they stood their posts on their assigned portion of the wall that they were rebuilding. And they were working diligently. Even Nehemiah was working diligently, physically rebuilding the wall. They were all together. They were set up so they could see each other so they would not get interrupted. So there was a great camaraderie and effort going forth to restore this wall and rebuild the city. So, well, in Nehemiah chapter five, there is basically no mention of progress on the wall. It's all about strife, and discord between the Jews because there is a famine in the land. People are working on the wall so they're not outside employed earning their own money. They're actually focused on this project for the period of time it'll take to get it done. And so the rulers and the leaders and the nobles are who have money are the people are coming to them and asking for loans and they are taxing their land and they are giving them money, but at great interest and at a, at a quote, usury rate, which is an excessively high interest rate. Well, if you think about what's going on in America right now, we have had massive inflation. The cost of our basic living needs have gone up exponentially and the burden is very high and it's causing a lot of conflict in this nation. Well, in order to turn that around, we have to have righteous representative leadership that we're going to elect to go into those positions. So the reason this chapter is so important is that this defines how Nehemiah addressed the situation and how and it, the content of his character. So I don't know if you remember Martin Luther King's famous saying, do not do, um, judge a man by the con color of his skin, but by the content of his character. Well, let's talk about the content of Nehemiah's character. And may I encourage you to apply that as you're thinking about who you are going to vote for in the November election to represent you in government. So Nehemiah was very, very frustrated about the usury because these were the Jews charging the Jews. And there was a big problem here because basically the fellow brothers were put enslaving their lesser, uh, those that needed money, they were enslaving them with this usury. And that's an oppressive situation. Then usury is not something that God wants to have happen. That is not biblical. Because basically for basic life necessities, food, shelter, those types of things, we really shouldn't be ex um, charging excessive interest rates. But look at what our credit card rates are today. And what do people need to do? They need to rely on credit cards to be able to buy their groceries. It's gotten to be out of control. So Nehemiah righted that situation. He confronted the nobles and the rulers directly and said, this is wrong. And he said, the things that you are doing are not good. Should you not walk in the fear of, the, of our God because of the reproach of the nations, our enemies. So that's in Nehemiah 5.9. We cannot be doing things that are oppressive to our people. We need to be able to make some paradigm shifts and we need to have representatives that are gonna work for us in government to level the playing field so people can enjoy the opportunity to prosper. 
Nehemiah had the opportunity, just like the rest of the Jews, to tax the people. He never taxed anyone. Nehemiah was very, very generous. At his own table, he fed 150 people on a daily basis. So he had a very generous spirit, and he wanted to make sure people had what they needed to be able to continue doing the work that they were assigned to. And he did not take the government provisions that were available and sell them for his own personal profit. And that's a very typical thing happening. We see that happening in our own government. We see a lot of foreign money coming, going out and then it's coming right back into our government. We see a lot of things happening where people are profiting off of our taxation, our tax dollars that have gone into the purse to take care of our nation, but it's not being used effectively and it is benefiting specific people. We have to be aware of these things. So when you are making a decision, I want you to think about the content of the character that you're voting, the people you're voting for. And I want to ask you to ask yourself, are their public words matching up with their private actions? And people that are running for office quite often have a history and maybe a lesser office. You need to spend some time to do a little research and find out about how their operational integrity is. And yes, there's always going to be negotiations, but do they equivocate and have they benefited at the back of the people? So I want you to think about this, but this chapter is really an excellent chapter in Nehemiah 5. And until that problem gets resolved, the progress of the building of the walls of Jerusalem did not get restored. And that is the same as going to be true in our nation. Until the problems of this nation are not resolved, we are not going to be able to fully restore our prominence and our prosperity as a nation. We're not going to be able to get out of this multiple trillion dollar debt. I mean, it's crazy what we're dealing with. So we have to be careful. Watch out for the content of people's character that you're voting for. Think about those things. Do a little research. Don't wait till the last minute. It's important because we are held accountable for all of the words that we speak in every vote that we cast. So pay attention to the content of the character and make sure their public words match up with their private actions. And look at Nehemiah chapter five and see how he walked through that whole chapter and how he dealt with situations and how he gained the trust of the people. So go take on the day. Thank you for joining me. Be back tomorrow. See what the Lord has to share with you. Okay, have a great day. Bye.